welcome back to another video those who are new welcome to Kawanda collectibles and if you are interested in anything you can email me at Kawanda collectibles the number one at gmail.com I would need a time stamp a brief description of that item and the video, the title of the video, or the date, and um, your full name. If we have a YouTube name, that'd be nice to give as well. And your full address, including city, state, zip code. And I do PayPal. My shipping is $5. I'm debating on when packages out um, over two pounds to maybe charge seven. I'm unsure of that right now, but I'm thinking about it. So, um, yeah, so welcome and welcome to all my other subscribers. Um, I'm going to, it's already open. I mentioned in one of my videos that I had opened some of my boxes because I was anxious to open them and I wanted to. So what I did was I kept the box and I had everything in the box. And let me first tell you where the box is from. Um, I want to say Wilmington. You can see that. Um, and <laughs> excuse me, it's a long story. The reason why some of this stuff is out is because when I went to try to do this video, I had a coffin spell and I stopped the video, tried to do another one, had another coffin spell, had to stop the video. So just gave up on the video so this is why the items are already out the bags are ready so we're gonna get this going this beautiful statement piece right here it is called miss natasha it's called natasha it's lovely i love it i love it let's see some i love this and here's the back And it has Miss Natasha name on it. Let's see. Focus, ain't focus. I don't know if you can see it. But um, this is beautiful. And also I had to glue one of the crystal rhinestones. I don't know which one, which one of these beads I had to um glue. You can't tell. I, I can't tell myself. I don't know which one I did. But I fixed it. And this is the back side of it. And it's in good condition. And two, we always have to remember we are resellers. So, you know, we look for the things that's in good condition. Nothing's broke. You know, things like that. So, we, we try to look for things that's messed up and try to show you everything if possible. So this I thought was pretty. And I did look this one up and it is a Natasha statement necklace. This is a collar necklace, crystals. And um, on eBay is for $75 and Poshmark was $60. So I was gonna do 45 if anyone was interested. If not, I may post this, list this one. So, okay. And I think this is a statement piece. I try to do this size. Don't care for doing these sizes too much because it takes us so much time. So what I'm gonna do is put this to the full length of this extender. And we're going to measure it like that. So, it's a 16. Full length 16. So, I'm going to keep this here because I love it. 
I love this one. <coughs> okay, we have this one. Um, I love this. It's rose gold. I'm not sure what this is. I, I was like, it can't be a bracelet. I don't know if it can go, um, no, maybe if it goes all the way up your arm. I'm not sure. But it looks to be like a choker, but it looks small for a choker. This is how the ends look. Yeah. And this is $6. This is beautiful, you guys. Beautiful. Look at that. Nothing's missing. And so this is $6. And this was a glass. So we have this one. I don't think I have prices on everything. I'm not sure. I'm debating on what I may start doing is sometimes I open my boxes anyway and kind of like try to put prices on some items. This here is a vintage says swallow. I guess I pronounced that right. S W A L L O W. I should have bought some water in here and I didn't. This is gonna be four dollars. It's missing rhinestones. It's a beauty. This is the back. That's the front. I think it's pretty, but you can tell it's missing a lot of the rhinestones. But I thought this was pretty. And as you can see, it looks as if it had um, some little rhinestones in the bottom of the bag. So I just left those in there, but you probably can find some and fix this up yourself. If you did, this would be beautiful though. This is four. And it said it's a venture swallow pen. But that was nice. Real nice. Real nice. I thought that was. Then I have this one. Our next glass stones. But the middle one, it went, it went right far on the Presidium. I was gonna let this be 15. This is the back. It's kinda got a little weight to it. It's pretty though. And I saw one of these, um, I don't know if it was on Etsy or eBay. It had a pair of earrings with it and it was $25. And the chain is in good condition. The chain that was on the Poshmark or Etsy one, it had that the chain was um, tarnished or turned, I think. But I thought this was a nice chain. No, the only thing too with this chain is it has this little, um, I don't think it's a knot. I don't want to mess with it and break it, but it's like a little knot twist in there. That has to be fixed. And I thought it was another one on here too as well. But I can't find it. But I know this one is. Maybe that's it right there. So anyone can fix that. And I don't know if this is a vintage class or not. Let me know in the comments. But um, I was saying this one be 15. This is pretty. Really pretty. Look at that. And I try to do a 22. I may not do it on all of them. Maybe on some. I don't know. Then we have this one. This is, this is six. It's a snake. A gold snake. All the rhinestones are there. It's the back. Good condition. Front. And it's the chain. And uh, only thing is the extender. If you have an extender, you can always change it or take that extender off of it. Because it 
the extender nap matching the chain. And this is six. And this chain is 16 inches. Then I have this beauty. This is $5. It's pretty. Only thing, this look as if it's missing, but it is not. What some people call it, a dead stone, I think. I'm not sure. Dead stone or dead crystal, but it's there. But other than that, that's the only one missing. And um, like around here, maybe a little worn, but you can't tell it. And like inside here could be a little, but you can't, you just really can't tell it. I don't know if you can or not, but you really, really can't. Because once it's on your arm, you know, who can see it anyway if it is tarnished under the bottom? It's not, it's not bad at all. I don't know if you can see that. And I shined it up some. And this is $5. And I don't know the size of this. Yeah, this is a seven right here. Okay, then we have this one here. This one is eight. It's a beauty. It's a six and a half bracelet. A ten, beautiful tennis bracelet. And look at that sparkle on there as well. And here's the opening part. The sides. Size open, and then you press that down, and voila. And I did test this. It's not sterling. I don't know if this could be an Avon piece or not, but Avon jewelry, you guys, is very good. I love Avon um, jewelry, and I love their sterling silver. This is eight dollars, and it's a size six and a half. If anyone is interested. Then I had this box was in there. This the box. And we have this. This is five dollars. Well, I don't know if I had this for five or four, because I think this one is missing something. Yeah, this one will be four. <laughs> Excuse me, because you can't really tell this, but this one was missing quite a few rhinestones. You can't really see them. It's very unnoticeable. But this is really, really pretty. It has a safety chain on it. That's the safety chain. And you open it here, you press that down. I'll open it. I tested this too. Did not come out sterling. It's not a Hallmark name on it anywhere, but it's still pretty. Um, this is this is four because this had uh oh had some stones missing on it, but you really can't tell. Let me fix that. Then we have I have this. This is five, no, ten. I think I saw this as well out there. This is a beautiful pin. Nothing's missing. And I couldn't find a hallmark on it. Couldn't find this unbranded. Look at that. Rose gold in the middle. All the rhinestones are there. I think that's beautiful. In very good condition. Yeah, so what is this? A, t a lily? Yeah, a gold lily pen. This is 10. Very pretty. Very. 
And I'm shocked when nothing's missing on that. Then we have, I did not, did I put a price on these? it for in the box it's a nice box um <clears throat> anybody interested in this box i don't know um i don't know four dollars two dollars oh, it's two dollars anybody interested in the box <laughs> a lot of people like boxes so if anyone interested in this box it's two dollars this goes inside of it as well it was over here on this side, like that somehow. So, um, next item up is this five and a half ring. It looked like a what Marquise. Isn't it beautiful? You would think, you know, they were real. Almost look real to me. But it does go up to glass. I almost look like past the glass, but this is $8. It's a size five and a half. I tested this. It did not come out sterling. I mean, if I didn't check it good, somebody, I guess you get to get something nice there. But I know one thing. I wish those were some diamonds. Uh, hope don't nobody get it and they find out that they are because I would be mad. Diamonds, diamonds are my favorite. This is just beautiful. Look at that. Five and a half. Can't even fit my little finger. But this is a five and a half. And then, look at this beauty. You know who gets this one. I apologize, you guys. This is one of the reasons I love to resell jewelry and buy the jewelry so that I can get my collection going. <laughs> but this is pretty. Sterling silver. CZs. I love it. This one was going to be me. you going to be mine. <laughs> so this one was mine. And I'm also keeping this one. This one is a sterling silver, 925 and CZs as well. So I was keeping this one too. I can I have another ring that I just got for anniversary from um a um diamond ring from uh, Pandora that I'm gonna put with this as a band. So I thought this was really pretty. So these two I was keeping. Beautiful. Okay, and I'm keeping this. This is sterling silver as well. I tested these items. So this is sterling too. Very beautiful. Check that out. And they're glass. Let's see these. Yeah, so these three here I'm keeping for myself and um these didn't come out of silver that I know of I didn't test these ones really but that doesn't look like silver let me see some <coughs> Oh, so glad my throat is working with me today. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you know what, you guys? This one, I didn't even... Oh, no. Nah. It's fading away. They're not silver. Wait. I almost look like it a little bit. Yeah. I may hold on to these right here. 
I'm gonna hold on to these ones. I'm sorry. I'm gonna hold on to these pair right here. Um, but that was it. Well, no, not really. I have something else to show you. Something else to show y'all. That almost don't look like it came out of sterling. But, um, let me show y'all something else. Um, let's see. I'm not, for this one right here, I wasn't sure how much to charge for these. This is kind of heavy. I was thinking 20. Because this is heavy. It really is. Look at that. Look at, isn't that beautiful? I was thinking 24 or so. If anyone interested, look at it. And it's heavy. And here's the clasp. I try to wash it down some. And we pressed it down here. And we opened it. And we fastened it. But this is this is beautiful. Let me show you. <laughs> yeah, I hear my um that's my bedtime alarm. <laughs> yes, I have a bedtime alarm. And it looks like a choker. Look at this. That thing is pretty, y'all. Uh, well, anybody interested, I'll sell it to you. Uh my YouTubers for 18, but I think if no one buy this, I'm gonna put this on Etsy or eBay. This is pretty, look at that. And then, <coughs> excuse me y'all, I ain't bring no water in here. I don't wanna yell and call my husband. And these gonna be 10. These are clip-ons. These got a little weight to, to them. Check these out. Look at that. Tell me, isn't that, look, look at that glow. It almost looks blue, then it looks purple. Oh, look at that purple though. Then it almost look a little yellow in there. Yeah, so the earrings are gonna be 10, and I think I'm gonna for this 18. Isn't that pretty though? Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And it's a two strand, I think this is like a choker. What you call it? Or I can't really pronounce it. Or, um, what is it? I'm gonna get it. Ouroborealis, <laughs> something like that. It's in the family. Something in that is in that family. Call them ABs. <coughs> Excuse me. So that was actually it for that box. But honey, this stuff is beautiful. Oh, and I had another. Yeah, I had another piece, this one, but I wanted to do some more research on this one. Look how this one is, the clasp is on here. And I got to do more research and finding this one. I found all the other items, but this one is beautiful. I think I saw this one, but. It looked like it was saying something about gold. I don't know if it could be gold plated. And of course, it's Aurora Borealis stones. This is really pretty. But I looked something up. But they say it's called a quartz necklace, squatted necklace. I'll let you all see it. This is what it has said on it when I pulled it up. And that price is what I saw. So that's why that price is right there. I was like $139. So I guess this is the one I'm talking about. I'm not sure. 
But I had to do some research on this one. I thought it was pretty though. So this one is really pretty. So let me know. I did, I think I did see something like this one. So if you all can find something, let me know. Okay, that's gonna be it. So um my thing ain't crooked, y'all. Sometimes it does get crooked on me. But um <coughs> excuse me. I hope everyone enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up share the video for me and you know join the kawanda collectibles family and again hope everyone have a wonderful wonderful day and be blessed and have a good night bye bye